Welcome to the era of AI. Hello there and welcome. In this lecture, I'm going to introduce you to Immersity AI, or rather known before as Leopix. Now, this tool can actually transform an image, a still image, lifeless image, to a lively image and add motion to it. So from 2D to 3D, this is what this tool is capable of. Now, we have an example. This image that you're looking at here was generated using Leonardo AI. This motion that you're looking at right here is Immersity AI's motion. You can see that because I'm using the free plan that I have the Immersity AI watermark, but that's absolutely okay. Now we can play the video again, just to show you. So this is pretty much an animation. They kind of like to add life to an image. So let's go right now and check how this works. So here is Immersity AI. You go to it by going to Google searching for Immersity AI or just Leopix. And generally speaking, you will find the link. Once you log into Immersity AI, you'll be able to upload a picture or a video. I will, I will drag a picture. All right, so we have a man wearing a tuxedo, an image of a man wearing a tuxedo, and it's going to definitely animate him. Now, as you can see, it's processing the image, which means it's going to take a couple of seconds or minutes. There it is. And you can see that right now it looks like an animation. The good thing is this is not it because you can change the, uh, you can change the way the animation works. So if you want it to be a vertical animation up and down or a horizontal animation left and right or a circular animation, which is the preferred one by many people, uh, you can see that the circular animation kind of leaves some, uh, some basically some, some bad effects over there. It looks horrible. Now, the perspective one is the one that doesn't really leave that much bad effects. And there is the zoom effect, which zooms in and zooms out. There's also the dolly, zoom left, and there is the zoom center, and there is the zoom right, and there is custom as well. Now I'd like I'd like to leave it at perspective. Uh, you can now it's already looped. You can reverse, which means it's going to reverse the way it is it, it is rotating it. And here there are some manual settings, the amount of motion that you can add. So the more motion you add, the more it's going to be you know, in, in motion is going to increase. The less motion you add, the less motion is going to have. The animation length, you can also control it. The maximum is eight seconds, uh, 10 seconds, I'm sorry. And the focus point here, you can set a focus point or you can change the focus point by modifying this and altering the focus point. I'd like to keep the focus point as the center. And then there's the, there's the edge dilation, uh, which you can manipulate as well. And the depth map, which I don't really like to touch a lot. Uh, but here, the depth map is just, um, it selects the character and you can actually, I think, select more depth if you want to, which I'm not going to do. Now, in any case, this is pretty much it for this particular tutorial. If you'd like to export your project, click right here to export and you will be able to export this by clicking next. Obviously, I have the free plan, so I can be able to go ahead and export it. They give you 1,050 credits, but that's not too much because every time you want to export, you will lose 50 credits to download this to an MP4. And you just have to click on export, in which case the file is going to be processed and you will have a video. These videos are pretty cool because you can use them uh, later on. You can definitely use them in videos. You can definitely use them in other, other uses. Now, I know a lot of people that have created YouTube channels, shorts YouTube channels uh, for about history, Spartans, about uh, the Persians, about the Roman Empire. And they create an image and they animate it using Immersity AI uh, because of the fact that it doesn't botch the image. The animations of other tools such as Leonardo, sometimes when it comes to characters, they kind of morph the character, they botch him a little bit. And so what happens is they have a botched video, which sometimes they don't like to have. So they uh, get Immersity. And with Immersity, you still get the uh, water water watermark, which can be quite annoying, but you can get rid of that watermark right here by getting the pro plan of Immersity AI. Now, this is pretty much it for this particular tool. Next, I'm going to introduce you to Midjourney, which is one of the best tools in the world that generates images. It's an incredible tool. It is paid. You need to, uh, basically, it's $10 per, per month if you want to get started. But in case you don't have it, you can still watch just for general knowledge, just in case in the future, maybe you, you get the membership, uh, you could probably use the knowledge that you're going to learn. So stay tuned for the next video.